So here's what's wrong with this TV. Yet another one where one side is fine and one side is dark. Now we already have two videos on TVs with similar symptoms. So is this going to be like the insignia that caught fire and was totaled? Is this going to be like the RCA that had a source driver problem? Or will this be something else? And I guess the two important questions. Is it worth fixing? And will we be able to fix it? Let's find out. Not many screws in the back of this one. Now this is a mostly a press fit cabinet. These were only the screws that would have held the legs. So the way you get this is you kind of find an entry point. I can see one right here. You put in your stiff blade case popping tool. This is a stiff blade putty knife. Go along the edges and just pop it. Now I've already released this so it comes up real easy, but that's pretty much it. You can see where the snaps are. Same thing on this side. And there's some across the top. And none on the bottom. So that's all it is. It's a snap-off. Stip blade, putty knife is the tool that you're going to use. You round off these edges so it's nice and smooth. You don't want to gouge, you don't want to slice, you don't want to cut, you don't want to scrape. Nice and smooth, you just want to pop this cover off. Okay, so on close examination, there's a piece of steel here that's going to have to come out that's covering the source driver board. We've got two mounting plates for the legs. These are going to have to come out to remove that piece of steel. Looks like we're going to have to remove the speakers as well. I don't think there's a left and right on these brackets. They appear to be the same. Speaker should just pop up. There we go. Well, it sure is warm down here. Didn't have it on that long either. It's really hot. Really hot on the side that was lit. All right, how's this coming out? So there's an interlocking tab here. Looks like this one's gonna have to release first. Now these are your source driver boards. They're part of the LCD. We have to be very careful with these. They're very easily damaged. I would say our next job is to release this. Okay. And now we want to get this bezel off. This plastic bezel that's holding the screen down. That should be fun. I'm going to release these source drivers so we don't tear them. This is a very delicate operation. You don't want to tear these. You tear these ribbons, it's all over. Okay, I've got one loose. We've got two loose. We have to be very careful because the LCD could completely drop out when we flip this now. So I'm carefully putting my fingers underneath to hold it in place. Hey! trash pick so I have nothing to lose.
All right, now we have to lift this out of here without catching and tearing these. So I'll start here, also knowing that the LCD is very fragile. It'll crack like a potato chip at a moment's notice. So you have to support it carefully. You're going to move it from here without catching these boards. Okay, well, we have the LCD out, sitting on a towel here. Is this going to lift away? Looks like it. Yep, these will lift out, so we'll get some more towels set up. Now best to lift off what you can in one operation. Looks like we're going to get off one silver sheet. Silver side is down. Oh, oh there's another sheet below it. Try to get them off together. Move them over on top of the LCD. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now immediately we see a problem, a big problem. What's this? This is the, I think this is called the guide plate. Not sure how much this is picking up, but we've got evidence of overheating here. Huge evidence of overheating and burning here. What you're seeing here is just a reflection of the light bulb that's up above. What you're seeing is that. So forget this stripe, that's the fluorescent tube. But we're concerned about this big crack in the guide plate and all of this other stuff. Well, okay, let's take it apart. Let's keep going. success and it's not cracked well things are not looking good here we can clearly see burn marks all along the bottom edge of the screen this is the left side so this here is the left side that was not lit look at this right here obviously something has gone on here that is not good and the right side that was lit does not seem to be very far behind. We're looking at some smoke. This is really bad. Okay, let's get it apart and see what's down there. So, our next task is to get this light guide plate out. It should just lift out. There's our crack. Don't know what we're going to do about that. Yet another mask. All chewed up on the edges. Now, there's our smoke residue. Here's, here's some sticky stuff. I'm going to put this upside down and take, examine this closely. Yep, 
You can see the smoke now. Samsung Television, the public's choice. Overheating, overheating smoke. Here's where some glue, looks like glue is on the back of this. See that right there? All these things cause shadows and imperfections on the screen. Nice. All right, let's get this out of the way. Well, this looks quite a bit different from what we've seen before because this is an edge lit TV. So here's our two rows. This is the row that's out. I've already disconnected it here. So we have one, it's called edge lit. You have a row across the bottom. And this is the row that is still working. Now the question is, is this TV worth fixing? I really don't know what it's going to look like when we put new LED strips in here. This is completely burned up. Even the connector is a little burned. But they're cheap enough, so I did order them. Here's the part number. And here's where you can get a brand new set of two LED strips for $15 with free shipping. This would be an LED that's still in good shape. This would be one that's pretty burned. Here's another one that's pretty burned. You can see the sun is not yellow, it's brown. And that's why we're removing. Here's another burned one here. And on the end. Nice burned LED on the end there. New parts have come in. They're shipped in a poly tube. They have the same part number as the old parts. I'm not sure that's a good thing because these old ones sure didn't last very long. But let's see what happens. I You can only put them in one way because there are notches that engage here on the top. So you can't get these in backwards. I've cleaned out the old sticky tape as best as possible. The new LED strips have their own tape, so let's try getting those down. Okay, so we've got the bezel back on with the on-off switch. We'll turn the power back on. We do get a red LED. There we go. And they're all lit nice and bright. Okay, let's try reassembly. We have some soot marks here. And if these marks are not removed, they will certainly show up on the screen and they will look like a shadow. We already are going to have some defects from the light guide plate, so let's try to minimize at least minimize these. Not sure we can get it all. All right, well next we've got to see if we can do something about this crack. We don't want it to get any worse. We don't want to make it look worse than it is. So we're going to try some UV glue. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot.
So this is some Chinese Luck TLF. I'd have to say it's better. Okay. Next we put these back on. Now, this top sheet has these little slits and they're going to engage right here and as usual there's grit on this too well I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like hopefully we can get the screen back on without cracking it that, that was really the whole purpose, to see what something with this much damage would look like when we put it back together. Okay, well in a couple minutes we'll get to see if it's all worth it. I know this TV will not be perfect, so that was the question to be answered. Could it be fixed? Well, yes, we've, we've put in the new LEDs and it does work. Well, once again, very stupid mistake has been made. We're all back together, we're all snapped together, and look what's been left behind. Not the first time I've made that mistake. It's easily made. You forget to put the speakers in, at least I do. So I'm going to have to take it all apart again to put these guys back. So learn from my mistakes and remember to put in the speakers. Well, results are quite a bit different from what I had expected. We, I don't really see the line I was thinking that we were going to see here. We do see all the LEDs across the bottom. I don't remember seeing that before, so I probably put something back together wrong, but I'm not taking it apart again. So what's the final judgment? I guess it would have been worth fixing. I'm thinking a piece of black tape down here would mask that out, or even a little piece of black black cardboard, craft board, you would never know it was there, you wouldn't see those LEDs, and I guess somebody would be happy with this, maybe. Not our best job, but it is working again. Thanks for watching.